to my video. I'm Lizzie Gutteridge from Consort of One. This is my introduction to how I've been looping some early music, historical music, on historical instruments. The same can also apply to any kind of acoustic music. So if you're doing folk music, anything with a short melody where you can get the entire length of the tune into the memory of your loop station. I'm going to start with a quick summary of the equipment I'm using. This is my loop station. I'll be using just two of the buttons on it for now. We have the one on the left marked Looped 1, which I use for recording and for adding layers, overdubbing that is, and also for stopping recording. So if I'm going to play something but I don't want it to come out on the loop, then I use that button to turn the record function off. Coming into the input on the back of my looper, I have my microphone. This is an SM57. It needs phantom power, so I've also got a little preamp in between. Third piece of kit that you need is an amplifier. This one is an acoustic amplifier, so it's designed to reproduce acoustic sounds. Okay, here we go then. I've got my Alto Shaw. My loop station is ready to go. Um, enjoy the performance, and thank you for watching. <laughs>